Hi. Good evening, good people. Let's give it up for Derek one more time, if y'all don't mind. Derek made me want to go buy a guitar. I already got the bald head and the glasses. We might start a group together, like Ebony and Ivory, or, or should I say Ebony and Periwinkle? I don't know. If, holla at me after the show, Derek. Um, if y'all don't know yet, this is the affirmative action portion of the show. If y'all haven't noticed, and I see how some people looking at me all excited. I promise I'm not the little boy from the Bernie Mac show. Everybody laughing at that make me sick. It's good to be back at Open Stage. A few things been going on in my life. Recently, I went to go get a physical. I hit 30 not too long ago. So I said, it's time for me to go get a physical. And everything was cool, but midway through the physical, things got a little awkward. The doctor looked me dead in my eyes and he said, Mr. Stamps, let's pull down your pants and make sure everything's okay. Now I'm standing there trying to look comfortable. Balls looking like Kimbo Slice. <laughs> Doctor got my milk duds in my hand. I'm trying to stay comfortable. <sighs> no, I'm okay. And I thought about it. I said, I shouldn't be standing here uncomfortable by myself. So I just started playing in his hair. Start hula hooping. No. <laughs> no. That didn't work, so I just started singing to him. Hey, I just met you. This is crazy. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. Make a long story short, we've been texting each other for about a week now. Love my doctor. <laughs> Y'all so nasty. <laughs> I just want to, you know, public service announcement. Anybody here that got kids, I suggest that you throw away your house phone. Don't use a landline. Just stick to cell phones when you're talking to your significant other. It could be traumatizing the kids. I know because I used to eavesdrop on my parents. <laughs> and my life has never been the same. I'd be at home on the phone listening my dad called home talking all manners to my mama. Gertrude, how you doing, baby? Gertrude, when I get home, I'm on my way from Walmart, baby. When I get home, I'm bringing some chocolate thunder with me and I'm giving it all over the house, Gertrude. <laughs> baby, you better get ready because when I come home, I'm bringing that chocolate thunder and I'm bringing it hot and heavy everywhere. Get ready because it's going to be good. I know you want some of that chocolate thunder. I'm giving it all out everywhere. Yeah. Soon as I buy this ham and this bread, I'll be there with that chocolate thunder. <laughs> I ran in the room all excited, talking to my sister. <clears throat> Steady. Steady. Walked in all excited. And but dad, when daddy get home, he bringing out some candy bars today. He used to bring Kit Kats and Snickers, but today he bringing chocolate thunder. Can't wait to get my hands on some chocolate thunder when daddy get home. Daddy, show take care of us. Bring us all the good candy. My must just, I ain't even seen a commercial for Chocolate Thunder. I go in there, sit on the couch, talking to my mama Gertrude. Mama, when daddy get home, he bringing us some candy bars tonight. Yeah, he bringing us some candy bars. I don't know. My mama just sound like that in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> mama, when daddy get home, he bringing us some Chocolate Thunder. Yeah, he bringing us some Chocolate Thunder. Is daddy bringing us some Jumbo Chocolate Thunder? I like the big candy bars. No, ain't nothing jumbo about this chocolate thunder. Your daddy bring it home. I wish I could tell you, yeah, son, but it's gonna be some fun size chocolate thunder tonight. Yes. Now go bring me my cigarettes and the Dr. Pepper while I crown this couch. I'm so tired of this fun size chocolate thunder. 
I don't know why I'm telling y'all all my business. This, <laughs> this is what's going on in my life. Um, I just want everybody to know, I know everybody's smiling, laughing, y'all got this beautiful stuff, but when you go outside these doors, life is tough. Life is hard. You need things to help you cope when stuff gets tough in life. Terrible. I got something that I use when I, when I go through hard times. I call it the inner cheerleader. That ain't funny. My inner cheerleader has gotten me through some tough times. Anytime, any, anytime things get hard, my inner cheerleader come out. I'm with my significant other. She all tired trying to go to sleep. I'm in the mood, feeling a little frisky. I'm trying to touch on her. That ain't funny. I heard that smirk back there. I'm, go I'm going through things. I'm touching on her. She giving me, giving me, oh, makes me all these twists. Like, what? Stop. What do you want from me? I'm trying to go to sleep. I'm tired of got to work at 11 a.m. I'm trying to go to sleep. Stop and give me some blanket. What do you want from me? That inner chili to come out. Let's get physical, get down, get dirty, get mean. Let's get physical and run right over that team. Come on. Please, come on, yeah. Please, come on, I know you wanna. Yes, yes, please, please, yeah. I should have recorded y'all so I could play that next time. Just... <laughs> next time she say no, just Aww. That was in unison too, y'all so good. Um, I'm telling y'all too much of my business, man. <laughs> I feel like we know each other, but y'all don't know me. I need to tell y'all. Also, I'm an algebra teacher by day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I teach algebra, and the hard thing about algebra is algebra is like the Brussels sprouts of education. Like, nobody wanna eat their Brussels sprouts. I come in class all excited, kids don't care. For once, I wish algebra was like stuff kids like to put in their body like pizza, cupcakes, meth. <laughs> Somebody got extra excited, yes sir! <laughs> Sign me up! I just wish one day after class a student just walk up to me all excited like. <laughs> Mr. Stamps, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, Mr. Stamps, you got um, some more of that X. I'm trying to score some more X, Mr. Stamps. I really need some more of that X. I need a fix. Please, I'm trying to score some of that X. You got any more of those X and Y equations on that homework you had yesterday? <laughs> Please, Mr. Stamps, I need to score some X. I never get that, you know? Like, I, Well, I did get it one time. I got a student that was real excited about math. I walked in class one day. I was like, you guys ready to learn some algebra? He was like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to count. I know all my numbers. One, two, three, four. And he just started sweating. Just sweating. Like just his clothes just in me like he was in a pool or something. He was just four, five, six, seven. Y'all ready? And I said, yo, you're excited, Corey. Corey was excited, but it wasn't about the algebra. Corey was actually on meth. <laughs> his heart was about to bust up out his chest. They had to get him up out of my classroom. True story. Wow, yeah. Same thing I said while I was calling the police. No, it's not all. It was going to kill everybody in there. Eh? Y'all should have been like, yeah. This dude is crazy. School, it's, it's tough teaching. Like, school's so tough, I saw in the news where in New York City, they're teaching science through rap now. Yeah. The same thing I said. Like, they're teaching science through rap. Like, they actually called the Wu-Tang Clan in to come in and write a curriculum to have kids rapping in class. Like, like you got, they call them ciphers and battle raps. Like, kids in class is like, chemistry rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. And I thought about it. I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool if it works. I guess rap does make things a little easier keep you engaged more. 
we need to use rap in other aspects of our lives. Like when I get to argue with my lady, she come at me all fussing. Byron, why haven't you washed the dishes? What's up with all this, this trash on the floor? Why your balls look like Kimbo Slice, Byron? I just look her dead in the face and be like, it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Now give me my clippers, I gotta go shave my... Okay. Y'all so nasty, man. Y'all nasty. Um, I do. I do.